Yet, as I find the courage to give all I can and still remember my own it takes a lot more than a bad sometimes turn to serenity comes. I've earned and with every gray hair, every enjoy. freckle, every wrinkle. It's, it's amazing. It's so personal. We're hearing the text and the music, these reflections on what we have all been going through. It feels like it's opening both me, also as the world's opening a little bit more. A big part of this piece for me too is like listening to people talk to each other for the first time in forever. Being here with everyone again is just such a wonderful experience. Uh, it's a, like nothing I've ever seen or heard. I work for a healthcare organization. We just try and feel incredibly lucky and blessed to be provided quality information that I can pass on to anyone. How do I create an experience that is about creating a sense of musical catharsis that could then be joined in to give a choral experience without ever being in the same room as everyone else. And that's sort of what fetter and air is, right? Fetter to be shackled by an air to like let your grievances become one with the space. That's what this piece is about, moving through and processing what we've been through. I have hope that the world will emerge from this time transformed, having reawakened to what is important rediscovered simple joys, found new ways of caring for one another, and forged new ways of accomplishing that. Dominic asked us to produce these two statements, one about the past year and one about the next year, and this was right at New Year's time, approximately. Um, and so it was definitely a split between 2020 and 2021. And it was also divided between sort of what have you lost and what do you hope for? We have 80 people singing at their own tempos, these lines. And uh, what, what is Dominic going to do to put this all together in some kind of cohesive yeah, event? Two of my greatest pleasures. So 2020 has been tough. I just want to be able to go out and do something. He was in hospice. Getting the virus my and shock getting and grief sick. were magnified by the realization that he would spend his final days apart from his wife for six years. Losing singing with others was losing me, who I've been, my joy, my profession that gives such moments of extreme beauty. Each day brings about the question of, is this it for the future of music as we know and love it? I'm afraid of the answer. These were really intimate, close thoughts, and I wanted to present them in a way that preserved that authenticity and treated them with care. I wanted to make sure I shared them in a way that felt as open as possible. Uh, and to do that, that means not obscuring them, allowing them to be heard exactly as they were presented. Uh, and yet surrounding that with music that would even amplify that further. Taught me to love. A machine breathing, breathing, unthinking. This is coming. So I took a little bit of everyone's words and made like a master word list. And then I wrote music to that. And I figured out how to then stitch them together into like a web that would make sense. Uh, and that's also interesting because you can't ever hear the piece all at once in the same place, right? It's, it's spacious, it's eight speakers. You'll hear it differently wherever you are. Whenever I do a piece like this, any sort of outdoor installation or any sort of large scale audio installation, there's always that, okay, well, now what does it sound like? Everything's so much different. You're like, here's what we imagine it sound like. And sometimes I can simulate it in environments, I can set up an eight-speaker system in my studio, but I can't set up a 200-foot eight-speaker system. The mains, because uh -huh. if you're listening from the main, those speakers already sound muffled anyway because yes. they're far away. Mm -hmm. So if we do it on the mains, also it's a lot easier for me to program. So, I don't have to go so I had an idea of where I wanted things to go, and I said, Justin, here's like a map of where things should maybe happen in time, and let me know how it works. <laughs> and then he put it into uh, the software and created the like first pass. And what was that like for you to like? It was a Spirit lot. <laughs> it was a lot of sounds. I was like, this is a very large pile to go through. And you went through the pile, which was great. Mm -hmm. So it was, for me, it was just a matter of putting it in the right boxes and putting it in the right times and figuring out how it would work in this structure and how logistically that would work. I did it uh, spoken word first. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, and that was, I could feel the journey from there. Because the singing you can feel, but the spoken word just literally speaks right to you. And it takes a lot to ask the singers to give of themselves in this way? You know, you're saying, will you give me something about your worries, your anxieties, and something about your hopes, your, your dreams? And that's what they've provided, right? And so you have to treat these artifacts of humanity with care.
the people's voices that hit me hardest, like hearing the other choir members actually speak the text that they submitted, was like, holy crap. These are my friends, these are my colleagues, and these are the things that we hear about going on, but like, this is happening with people I'm close with. And it was very moving to, to feel their story. It's so moving when you hear the anxiety on one side and the expressions of hope on the other side. What we've been through this past year. And as I look at what's happening today, I'm seeing people move through this space and have moments of connection, whether it's with the voice coming out of a speaker through the woods, right, or whether it's actually people they've not seen in a year and a half, right? People are moving through this and having an experience they won't forget. And I think that's a huge part of what we do as artists, is helping connect the world to create something that takes us out of our isolation, out of our loneliness, into something that we can't do on our own. It's hearing your community come together as a whole to present a year of isolation together just hearing people's conversations it almost sounds like what I'm hearing in the music too um, you know I, I just think it's a, a great hopeful message it's like not only am I hearing these reflections of people that I say used to sing with every week but after a year of not seeing them I get to hear it with them and I think that's pretty powerful there's this one statement by one of our singers which is you are we are enough regardless and it really sums up a lot of what this year has been about, which is that, you know, we need to find better balance in our lives. We can't necessarily hold ourselves to all the expectations we had prior to this pandemic, right? How do we find that balance? You are, we are enough regardless. That's, that's the piece. We are enough regardless. You are, we are enough regardless. You are. You are, you are, we 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 are, we